Hey everyone, it's Bradley Bush with another algebra video for you. Today we are talking about finding and using x and y intercepts. They can be really helpful and they're not that hard to find, so hopefully you enjoy this video. If it's your first time to my channel, thanks so much for coming and I hope you come back. First question, how do you find x and y intercepts? Well, the answer, lucky for us, is, is fairly simple. We just have to follow a couple rules. Uh, to find the x-intercepts, we set the y equal to 0 in the equation, and then we solve for x. To find y-intercepts, we set the x equal to 0, and then solve for y. So again, when we're wanting to find the x-intercepts, we'll solve for x, but we first have to set y equal to 0. When we're finding y-intercepts, we will end up solving for y, because that's what we're looking for, right? y, but we first have to set x equal to 0. So that's it. That, that's really all there is. It's, there's not a lot to it. Let's do an example. If we want to find the x and y-intercepts for 6x minus 2y minus 12 equals 0, this is an equation of a line. And if we want to find the x and y-intercepts, maybe we want to graph it. Maybe we were just looking for x and y-intercepts. We can totally do it. To find the x-intercepts again, we set the y equal to 0, and then we solve for x. So let's put down, uh, right, copy down our equation. So we have 6x minus 2y minus 12 equals 0. And again, instead of having y there, we're going to put 0 times 0, which, lucky for us, that totally gets rid of that middle term. So all we are left with is 6x minus 12 equals 0. We can add 12 to both sides. We're just solving for x now. That cancels the negative 12 out. And we have 6x equals 12. We divide both sides by 6. That the sixes cancel, and we have, I'm going to come back up here, we have x equals 12 over 6, which is 2. So our x-intercept, then, is, I'm going to pull this down a little bit because my OCD is kicking in, x equals 2, and y equals 0 we found the x-intercept. And we can do a similar thing for the y-intercept. And apparently I need more room here, so I'm going to pull down that y-intercept label. So to find the y-intercept, we need to set x equal to 0 and solve for y. I'm going to change my color here. We'll go with red. Let's write down our problem, 6x minus 2y, or the equation of our line, minus 12 equals 0. And we're setting x equal to 0. So we're going to have 6 times 0. And again, lucky for us, 6 times 0 is just 0. That cancels out. That goes away completely. And we have negative 2y minus 12 equals 0. And we solve for y. So we can do this by taking the negative 12 to the other side. So we add 12 to both sides. The negative 12 cancels on the left. What do we have now? Negative 2y equals positive 12. We can divide by negative 2. And we get y equals 12 over negative 2, which is negative 6. So what is our y-intercept? Our y-intercept is 0, comma, negative 6. So we've found the x and y-intercept for this function, this, uh, this, the equation of this line. It's really not that bad, right? To find the x-intercept, we set y equal to 0 and solve for x. To find the y-intercept, we set x equal to 0 and solve for y. Let's do one more problem. 
just to solidify things. Uh, and this time we're going to use the x-intercepts to do something. So a common thing to do with our x-intercepts is to use them to help us graph something. So say we have a function uh, f of x equals negative 3 halves x plus 2. And we wanted to find the x-y-intercepts and use that to help us graph. Um, there are other ways of doing this problem, but for illustration purposes, we're just going to we're going to use the x and y intercepts. Before we do that, though, let's do a little bit of rewriting. This f, we're going to change that to y. We have y equals negative 3 halves x plus 2. And I'm going to, going to get rid of the 2 in the denominator. I'm just going to get rid of the fractions just because I, I prefer to deal, not deal with them. This is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to multiply everything in the equation, left and right sides, by 2. And that'll end up getting rid of that, that uh, denominator. So I have 2 times y, which gives me 2y. And I have equals, and I have a negative of 3 halves x. And this is multiplied also by 2. And then I have 2 times 2. The 2 times 2 is 4. The 2's cancel in the x term, which leaves me just with negative 3x. And I have equals 2y. So there is my equation that I'm going to use. Let's put that down here. And we can start solving for our x-intercept. So I have 2y equals negative 3x plus 4. So we're going to set y equal to 0. So the y goes away, and I put 0 in for y. That gets rid of this term, because it all goes to 2 times 0 is 0. So we have 0 equals negative 3x plus 4. Now, I need to get rid of that 4, so I'm going to subtract 4 on both sides. And that leaves me with negative 4 equals negative 3x. I can divide both sides by negative 3. And the negatives cancel. And I get, and the negative 3, can, negative three, negative three cancels as well. And I get x equals 4 thirds. So my intercept is 4 thirds for the x and 0 for the y. Let's do, uh, let's solve for the y-intercept. So let, let's write down our problem. So we have y equals, sorry, 2y equals uh, negative 3x plus 4. And I'm setting x equal to 0, so the x, whoops, the x goes away, and I'm multiplying by 0. That whole term drops out, and I get 2y. This one looks like it's going to be much easier, right? I get 2y equals 4. I can divide by 2. The 2's cancel, the 4 and the 2 cancel, and give me just 2. And I get um, y equals 2. So my y-intercept then is 0, comma 2. Now let's put those on our graph. So our y-intercept is 0, 2. So that's right here. And I have 0, comma 2 for my y-intercept. And my x-intercept is 4 thirds and 0. So one, 3 thirds is 1, and 4 thirds would just be a little bit further. So this is 4 thirds and 0. And I'm going to make this red. Now all we have to do to graph is just connect the dot. So if we have a ruler to help us, we can create a beautiful line here. 
And this is the equation of the line f of x equals negative 3 halves x plus 2. So we can find equations, um, find, we can graph equations using the x-intercepts. We can find x and y-intercepts by setting the opposite variable equal to zero and solving for the variable we want. Hope this was helpful and have a good day.